Okay, let's do something really cool now. What we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, one of those cool tabs um, from the Apple site, uh, this QuickTime site right here. Uh, we're going to grab one of these tabs, we're going to strip the text off of it, and we're going to add our own text. Uh, so uh, let's show you how that's done. Uh, here's Button Gadget. We've got it opened up. We can hit Reset, and we've got a brand new, uh, uh, a brand new uh, screen to work with. So we'll go into the Shape tab, and we're going to use this Smart Stretch feature right here. That's what we want to do. So uh, before we can do that, we want to capture the image. So I'm going to move this over here, and I'm going to come over here and click that Capture the Image button, and I'm going to grab this this little QuickTime. Uh, I'm going to put the crosshairs right here and just grab this little QuickTime image right there. And now that I've grabbed that, we can see that uh, it's placed it right here in this in this window for me. So now I'll open up Smart Sketch. Uh, we'll see that we've got the QuickTime tab right there in Smart uh, Smart Stretch. So what I want to do is I want to delete all this stuff from to get rid of all that QuickTime. So I'm going to delete, grab this, stretch it across here, and I've deleted it. Look at this, I've applied it, it's all gone. Now I'm going to add it, I'm going to stretch it back out, as big as I need to. Apply, there we go. Now I need to go in, close this, I'm going to add some text, and we're going to call it uh, uh, QuickTime Two, uh, hit the tab key. We'll render it. We need to change it to color. This is kind of a cool little uh, feature too. I can I can actually drag my cursor anywhere I want over the uh, screen. Hit the space bar. It's going to lift lift that color directly in here. So you can see I just got the same color. But actually, I can also double click on here and choose a color, which is what I really want to do because I want that to be white. Uh, by clicking these buttons down and shift key, we'll move it up and down. I can style it to bold. Uh, and I can change the size of it to something like, let's say, 16. There we go. Well, let's make it a little bit smaller than that. Let's make it 14. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add an icon. Uh, new in Button Gadget 2 is the ability to add icons. So show the icon. Let's load an image. I go to my desktop. I've got this little check set up right here. There it is. I'll move it to the, again, the shift key moves it faster. Okay. I'll go back to my text, move it over a little bit. Let's give it a a little bit of shadow, move it down to the left. Let's blur it a little bit. There we go. And uh, now you see we've just created a tab very quickly. 